There has been many, many LEGO games, and in this video, we are going to be looking at the most powerful character from every single LEGO game, starting off with LEGO Star Wars The Complete Saga. This choice was very obvious, it's the Force Ghosts. They are literally invincible, unless you are carrying a Proton Pack. We got one! And I bet you didn't know that you can actually walk through enemies when using the Force Ghosts, and the only way to die as the Force Ghosts is to accidentally fall off the map. You know what truly belongs in a museum, Indiana Jones? A bazooka, next up is LEGO Indiana Jones The Original Adventures. Without a shadow of a doubt, the most powerful character is the Bazooka Trooper. Bazooka Trooper, beams are gonna blind me. I mean, half of the time you end up blowing yourself into pieces, he can literally destroy anyone instantly or anything, and he is great for farming studs. Until until, uh, this happens. Oh, and would you look at his beautiful blonde locks and that walking animation is peak. A bit like Lego Batman the video game. Straight off the bat, you may think Batman and Robin are the most powerful characters in this game, but no, they rely on their suits being available in certain levels. Shockingly, Poison Ivy takes the crown as the most powerful character. I swear she didn't put a charm on me, and do you see that plant? That symbolises Batman right now. <laughs> anyway, if you go to play any level in free play, you are guaranteed to have Poison Ivy in your character toggle selection. She can double jump, which is great for skipping certain puzzles. She can walk through toxic goo, kiss people, a bit too many people. And she is the only character within the entire game to be able to make plants grow alongside, you know, anyway, time to jump into a fridge. Next up is Lego Indiana Jones 2. The adventure continues. I wish it didn't. I am joking. I am joking. And you will not believe this. They actually nerfed the Bazooka Trooper. They knew he was too powerful. With this being the case, you would think the interdimensional being would be the most powerful but truth be told, he cannot do anything except propel ants away. So, I have got to give it to Indiana Jones. He is the only character you need to be in this game, and he can take people for a walk. Knowing Indiana Jones, he is probably going to put them in a museum. You belong in a museum. Get ready to sprint into a brick wall as we're heading to Hogwarts. Nothing except pull orange handles. We leave that for Chad Hagrid. But the main thing that makes Voldemort so good is how fast he can send out spells. Next up is a Lego game that comes from a galaxy far, far away. Yes, it's Lego Star Wars 3. From Count Dooku to Darth Vader, Asajj Ventress to Darth Maul, Palpatine to Starkiller, let's not forget Heavy and Echo. I was really stuck between these characters on who exactly is the most powerful of the lot. And well, in the end, I decided to give it to Asajj Ventress. Having two lightsabers, she is like General Grievous with force abilities. She may not have force lightning, but force choke works the exact same. It just isn't as cool. Of course, it is worth mentioning any Sith character could have been a strong contender. The dark side of the Force is a pathway to many abilities. Yeah, you get it. We can't keep doing this. Anyway, raise the anchor, set the sails as Lego Pirates of the Caribbean is sailing its way up next. That has to be the most powerful character I have ever seen. Yes, matey, it is Blackbeard. Blackbeard, without question, is the most powerful. He can fire lightning from his sword, kick enemies across the map. Also, if you didn't know, Blackbeard is the only character too to be able to shatter dark magic bricks in this game. When I was younger, Blackbeard was always my favourite, and let's be real here, Davy Jones is very bad in this game. I mean, yeah, he can walk through coral and enter the depths, to the depths, but he is no match for me, good old mate Blackbeard. <sighs> Here's Johnny, up list, and in all honesty, 
It is kind of stupid. Also, hello, hello, hello there, guys. I am Rugged Eagle, and if you have gone to enjoy this video so far, a like would be mega, mega appreciated, and a subscribe if you love LEGO games. Anyway, thank you so much. Let's get back to it. So, this bald bloke known as Voldemort costs 25 million studs, the most expensive LEGO game character ever, and guess what? He doesn't even have all the spells, even the woman who killed Sirius Black. Black does. I killed Sirius Black, you're coming to get me! You know what, that was a good impression. Yeah, Bellatrix Lestrange is the most powerful character in this game, and at least she can send out a Patronus spell, unlike Voldemort. Even Year 5s know how to send out a Patronus. Come on, mate. From this day forth, you put your faith in me. No, not if you can't get rid of a Dementor. From 200 characters in LEGO Harry Potter years 5 to 7 to just 50. Say hello to LEGO Batman 2. How tiny is this game's character roster? You already know who is the most powerful character in LEGO Batman 2. Is it a bird? No. Is it a plane? No. It's Superman. Superman is the most revolutionary LEGO game character ever. He legit cannot die. Even Kryptonite barely harms him. And it's it was only today that I found out you can build in the air as Superman. All of my life, I have been dropping on the floor to build. I feel so stupid. This was such an easy choice. I mean, you've got ice, breath, heat, vision, flight, and a super charming smile. Yes, General Zod and Supergirl are the same, but I've got to give it to Superman. He's the original. And please comment down below your favourite LEGO game character. And if you have gone to enjoy this video so far, a like would be mega appreciated. Thank you so much. Master the Rohirrim, we ride for Gondor. Next up is LEGO Lord of the Rings. You will not believe me, but the most powerful character in this LEGO game is Samwise Gamgee. Potatoes, boiling, mash them. Samwise Gamgee has the most abilities of any character. He is literally the only character you need, especially when you pair him with the Mithril weapons. Really, they can make any character powerful, but on top of Sam's abilities, it just takes him to a whole new level. And if it wasn't for Sam, the ring would never have been destroyed. Now look at him living the best life, dressed as a snowman with boots that play the Lord of the Rings theme everywhere he goes. I need a pair of them. Shh, have a listen to this. Get yourself a coffee and a donut. It is time to go Lego City Undercover. Hypothetically, there is 305 characters in this Lego game, but they all work as disguises for Chase McCain, so... Chase has to be the most powerful. Having eight suits, he can do literally everything in the game. The only character that is an exception that doesn't work as a disguise, really, is Rex Fury, because he is the only character to have an ability, and that is super strength. But he still works as a outfit for Chase McCain. He is not a separate character, so it's got to be Chase McCain. From Lego City to New York City, next up is Lego Marvel Superheroes. Excelsior, you knew this one were coming. Oh yeah. This is Stan Lee, the most powerful character across all LEGO games and a legend. Stan Lee has every ability known to man, yet he cannot escape the easiest scenarios. Half of my childhood was spent looking for him, and when I unlocked him, I was not disappointed, unlike when I got <clears throat> Galactus. From Iron Stan to Excelsior Hulk, no matter which LEGO Marvel game, Stan will always be the best and forever in our hearts. Stan Lee makes everything awesome. Hang on, did someone say everything is awesome? Oh no, it's LEGO Movie the video game up next. Superman is here yet again and this game makes him ridiculously broken. Remember that terrible film Batman v Superman? Well, let me show you the true Batman vs. Superman. Yeah, Superman can literally one hit everyone in the game and do not let him equip any super pants, he is already broken enough. This is probably the worst version of LEGO Superman because he does not have his ice breath, but he still dominates among all the other characters in LEGO Movie 1. Ooh, now I haven't said this in a while. Time to go 
Fall over the misty mountains to Lego Hobbit. Now, this Lego game doesn't per se have a most powerful character because the mythical weapons allow any character really to become the best. You have swords, hammers, bows in there, yo-yos, golden afros, duck hats, yodeling shields. Have a listen to this. Then you have elvish shoes which give any character agility like what Legolas has and speed shoes. There is so much and once you pair the mythical weapons with the character's bombardus toque, you fool of a toque. And Radagast the Brown, the crazy one, you can literally do anything in this game as these two characters have exclusive abilities you cannot get with the mythical weapons like healing animals. Jump onto your rabbit sleigh as we are going beyond Middle Earth and Gotham, it's Lego Batman 3 up next. This may surprise you, but Superman is not the most powerful character in this game. What? I know, I know. In fact, we have a few for this entry, and Batman is one of them, finally, and Robin, which I ain't too pleased about. Oh, and we are not done yet. We also have Lex Luthor, Joker, and Cyborg, unlike the previous LEGO Batman games. LEGO Batman 3 allows you to switch suits on the spot like Chase McCain. Making all of these characters extremely handy, Cyborg can turn into a mech by the snap of his fingers and a washing machine. Batman and Robin have all of their classic suits available on the go, alongside some new additions like the space suit. And each character is missing a suit that another character has, so it's kind of hard just to give it to one, so I've got to give it to them all. If I had to argue a standalone character for the most powerful, I would give it to Composite Superman, because he is a cross between Batman and Superman, making him very, very strong. However, he cannot compete against all of them suits. No way. Welcome to Jurassic Park. Dun, 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 dun. No, sorry, wrong one. Lego Jurassic World. This LEGO game no doubt has the worst character roster ever, and that's sparing no expense once you remove the dinos, but everyone just cares about the dinosaurs, let's be real, so I'm going to give a most powerful dinosaur and a most powerful character. Why not? So, for the most powerful dinosaur, I am going to give it to the Indominus Rex because he can actually go invisible. I mean, yes, technically it is a bit useless because you can't really do anything with it. Sorry about that, T-Rex. So, in terms of the actual character roster, who is the best? And no, it is not the baby Velociraptor. It looks like a toy. This decision was very easy. It's Mr. DNA. He can build bones, dive head first into to dino poo. Anyway, basically, Mr. DNA is a cross between Alan Grant and Ellie Sattler, and these are two of the main characters in the game, so when you go back into free play, Mr. DNA makes it very easy. With extra abilities too, like target hitting and agility, the only thing he cannot do is shatter glass with that awful screaming ability. Oh, get us out, get us out. Alan Grant, I need that keystone. I need it because we're going beyond anything else. It's Lego Dimensions up next. From Sonic to the Doctor, Tom Cruise to the Powerpuff Girls, E.T. to Jake the Dog, Lego Dimensions is no doubt the best Lego game ever and it has a lot of very strong contenders for the most powerful. I was really, really stuck between Jake the Dog, Marceline and Chase McCain, as all of these characters have over 15 abilities each. Whereas Gimli and Bart Simpson have only two abilities. So it is between Jake the Dog, Marceline and Chase McCain and starting off with Jake the Dog, he is amazing. He can transform into literally anything. However, the only thing that pulls him down is how he cannot fly. Then there is Marceline, who can actually fly by turning into a bat, alongside she can turn into a werewolf too. However, 
A few of Marceline's abilities are kinda nice, like vine cut. Leaving Chase McCain, and he is back with all of his suits, and the abilities that he has are just so handy in and out of the story. Being able to use the grapple, the relic detector, I finally do not have to keep putting wild style on the portal. And that animation for switching suits is really unique, and one of the greatest LEGO game transformations. From one dimension to the next, it is time to return back to New York in Lego Marvel Avengers and give us the Avengers theme. It has got to be Stan Lee yet again. Even though this is the worst Lego Marvel game, it does have the best version of Stan Lee. He has a Stan Hulk buster for crying out loud and he can fire pencils which actually destroy metal in this game as that was the only thing he couldn't do in the first one. I really want to give a honourable mention to Korvac as he has some really great abilities and his design just looks awesome. And if you would like to hear me talk more about LEGO Marvel, why not check out my top 25 best LEGO Marvel characters video, there'll be a card up there and a link at the end of the video for you. Next up is the LEGO game where we finally understood that's not how the Force works, it's LEGO Star Wars The Force Awakens. My least favourite LEGO game. With 248 characters, there is only one character with unlimited power, it's Palpatine, spinning into enemies shouting, I am the Senate, never gets old. And I love the Force Lightning in this game, same with the ultimate abilities. It is a shame that they never made it into the Skywalker Saga. I mean, yes, there is Force Lightning, but it doesn't beat this now, does it? <laughs> Up next is a very strange LEGO game, as it is very different to all of the others, and that is LEGO World. Now, I know I may be one of the very few, but I actually really love this LEGO game because I enjoy building stuff and the game has tons of characters from many LEGO themes, which I grew up with. I mean, you've got LEGO Monster Fighters, Ninjago, Nexo Knights, LEGO CMF series, Classic Space and tons more. So, who is the most powerful character? Well, this choice was very easy. It is the vampire being able to transform into a bat at any time and fly is definitely useful in a sandbox lego game not to forget there is only a handful of characters in this game with special abilities because they are mainly just outfits for your character the werewolf has a super jump the scarecrow can jump scare people and the cyclops can use this dash attack you will definitely want to keep one eye open for this next one it's lego ninjago the movie the video game jump up kick back whip around and spin. The most overpowered character has to go to the Golden Ninja. Having all of the elements in one spin jitsu, say goodbye to Kai and Cole. Just kidding, how can we disband our childhood favourites? The Golden Ninja is a pain to unlock and I've got to be honest, what is the point when I already have 100%? He would have been so useful earlier on with his multi-elemental spin jitsu. I have got to be honest here, I kind of think they ruined spin jitsu here. Lego Dimensions was so much better for Ninjago, as that was actually based on the show rather than the movie, and we may be seeing a Lego Ninjago game again. Anyway, next up is Lego Marvel Super Heroes 2, which released in 2017 alongside Lego Worlds and Lego Ninjago, and you already know who it is. It is Stan Lee once again, and this time he comes with his Make Mine Marvel shield. And well, ride like the wind, Bullseye! Next up is LEGO Incredibles and give us the Incredibles theme. This LEGO game is so underrated with around 130 characters plus the addition of the beloved Pixar characters. I've got to say, I never thought a baby would be the most powerful. Meet Jack-Jack. Aw, Jack. he is pretty much multiple LEGO game characters in one. He can transform into a baby human torch, multiply himself into tons and tons of babies, alongside become a slab of steel like Colossus. To say he is just a baby and he has more powers than Superman, Superman, you need to hang up your cape and fly back to Krypton. Oh, wait. Never 
Never mind, he can stay in Metropolis, and that is where we are going next. It's LEGO DC Supervillains. LEGO DC Supervillains has such a high emphasis on custom characters because the entire game is based upon your custom character known as Rookie. Now, custom characters have been in LEGO games since 2006 with LEGO Star Wars 2, and unfortunately, they are not with us anymore, please return. With LEGO DC Supervillains treating your custom character as a main character, once you progress through the story and unlock all of his abilities, he literally becomes the most powerful all-time LEGO character and you can make him into whoever you want. Like Buzz Lightyear to Infinity and Beyond or Harry Potter. Expecto Patronum! I know he is a custom character, but he kinda isn't because he is the main character in the story and he's not at the bottom of the character roster. Next up is Lego Movie 2. I really do not know what they were going for with the Lego Movie 2 character roster because it has a great selection of characters, but... None of the characters have any special abilities, they are literally just cosmetics. Like Flash cannot even run fast and Lord Business cannot even pull out his gigantic legs. I really like the actual cosmetics of the characters alongside their idol animations, but no character in this game has any special abilities, so I can't even pick a most powerful character, so... It's nobody. We are now moving into the final entry on the list and thank you so much for watching up to this point of the video and if you have gone to enjoy, a like would be mega appreciated as this video took a while to make. Thank you so much, you are a legend. Anyway, time to go to a galaxy far, far away yet again. It's LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga. You have Darth Vader, Luke Starkiller, Palpatine, Count Dooku, General Grievous with his multiple lightsabers. There is so many great characters in this game. But it wasn't until recently where the most powerful character actually got added in. It's the legendary bounty hunter Cad Bane. You see, once you finally max out the bounty hunter class, Cad Bane's weapons just become insane. You can shred bosses instantly, wipe out an entire army of droids, farm tons and tons of studs. You can visually see just how broken this is. Do not even try to battle your mate when he is using Cad Bane. There is no deflecting that. And thank you so much for watching today's video and if you want to check out any of my other every single LEGO game series videos, there is a playlist here. I've got the worst boss from every LEGO game, the best level from every LEGO game. I highly recommend checking them out. Anyway, see you in a bit. Adios.